Welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment and today I'm going to be making a custom set of nested rulers. Let's get into it. I came up with the idea for this project shortly after making the woodpecker square replica and I wanted to make something that didn't really copy anybody else and it was my own take on a tool that I use pretty frequently. And the first thing that came to mind was rulers because I use them to not only draw when I'm in the house, but I also use them for woodworking and other things. I do have woodworking rulers in the shop. I have about five of them that take up a little bit over a foot maybe of space and width. So I constrained myself in this project to come up with a design where I could have at least five sizes of rulers and take up less than six inches of space to minimize how much wall space I'm going to need. The common sizes that I use are anywhere from about three inches all the way to 24. I don't use anything larger than that typically, and I usually use the smaller ones when I am drawing inside. So for this project, I have chosen to do a three inch, six inch, 12 inch, 18 and 24. I've also decided to make the complement of the metric, which is going to be in centimeters, on the other side. Similar to the replica woodpecker square that I made, I am going to be offering these in different colors and with the ability to add your logo to it. So you can have some customized rulers in the shop or in the house, and they're going to be just as accurate as a tape measure when it comes to actually laying things out. So I've already designed all of this on the computer. I'm not really going to go into how I did all of that, uh, but I did create all of the rulers on Illustrator and laid out my design on there. Now that I have the design done, I'm going to go ahead and send it over to the laser and start machining out the rulers. Now that all the machining is done, let me go ahead and show you what the two different versions look like and then explain what I'm going to do next. So here are the two different versions. This first one is eighth inch thick black cast acrylic. The second one is quarter inch thick blue cast acrylic. Let me show you a close up of the design. You'll see that one side of the ruler is in inches, the other side is in centimeters and there are five different lengths in this design. So there's a three inch length, a six inch, a 12 inch, an 18 and a 24. The intent of this is that you can nest all five of these rulers together to take up less space for storage. You can see with the tape measure, if I line it up to the end, that my marks on my ruler match up to an actual tape measure. It is just as accurate as the tape measure is, You'll also see that the numbers start inside of the ruler a little bit. I didn't want to put them all the way off to the edge because they wouldn't have been as accurate that way. So I made sure to put the marks inset from the ends just so it's more accurate overall. You'll also see that there are little circles in each ruler. This is so that they can be hung up. And the next thing I'm going to do is make the holder that is actually going to hold these up. And while I'm doing that, I'm actually going to paint the blue one. The black one I'm going to leave just as engraved. The blue one I want to paint just to see how it turns out. I'm going to use some spray paint on it. So let's go paint this one up and then make the holder while we wait. All 
right, so first I want to make the holder. And the way I'm going to do that is by taking the rollers and lining them up with the top of this. And then I'll be putting each consecutive ruler where it belongs and gluing the pieces into place. I'm going to start with some Starbond just to hold them in place and then put some Weld on 4 around it to have a better bond long term. So I'm just going to put a little drop of Starbond right in the middle. Make sure that this is lined up and glue it into place. While the painted one is drying, I'm going to go ahead and peel the masking off of the black one and see what it looks like. So the marks are pretty clear. It's gonna be easier to see them on darker colors. I need to go ahead and peel the rest of these pieces off and then go on to the next one. So here's what the black looks like with everything unmasked. So it looks nice and clean. Next, I'm going to go ahead and unmask the painted one and hopefully it turned out well. I'm not really sure how it's going to work with bleed among the paper and if paint got places it's not supposed to go. Uh, let's check it out. Okay, here is the painted one. I'm going to go ahead and separate all of these and start unmasking. As far as the contrast goes, this looks really good. It doesn't look like there's a lot of paint bleed. There's some paint on the side, which isn't as big of a deal. So here's how the blue one turned out. It worked out pretty well. The only issues I really had were on the largest one. Down here at the end on the centimeter side, you'll see a few marks that aren't supposed to be there. This is because the paper actually peeled off before I painted it. So that was just a, a mistake on the preparation. So now that I have these all done, I'm going to take the hanger that I made and see if this works. I'm gonna hang this on the wall and hope that it holds the rulers in place. So here it is all hung up. Now it is the same thickness as this material. So when you need to get one out, you can push it in at the bottom and then pull it out. I wouldn't suggest just pulling them out right away because you might end up pulling one of the other ones out with it. I did make these little cutouts so that you can reach your finger into here to be able to pull them apart. And I think it turned out really well. I made these in two different thicknesses for one main reason, and that is the thicker one isn't going to be as flexible. The thinner one is more flexible, so you can kind of bend it a little bit when you need to. I wouldn't bend it too much or you will crack it. So here are the three final versions that I made. So the black one that's an eighth of an inch thick, the blue one with painted black numbers that is a quarter of an inch thick, and then while I was making these, my friend Ethan over at Ethan Carter Designs asked if he could order a set of clear for leather work. So I went ahead and customized that for him and made that out of quarter inch clear acrylic. You'll see that it is metric on one side and imperial on the other. 
and each set is made up of five different sizes. There's a three inch, a six inch, 12 inch, 18 and 24. For the metric side, it is seven centimeters, 15 centimeters, 30 centimeters, 45 centimeters, and 60 centimeters. But there are the final three. Overall, I'm really pleased with how these rulers came out. My favorite is obviously going to be the blue with the black lettering. I wasn't sure how the paint would work out, but it did work out better than I expected. If you are interested in getting your own custom set of rulers and a color of your choice, Go to the link in the description below and you can purchase those at my website. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It helps me bring out more content every week. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.